to ash. Seek of embers. Hey everybody, it's Dipio. Welcome to Dark Souls 3. Yes, we are here. We are at the final Souls game. Oh my goodness. This has been a long time coming, and I'm very excited for it, because uh, much like Dark Souls 2, I have not played through the DLC. Um, up in the upper left corner there, you'll see Ashes of Ariandel and the Ring City. Neither one of those have I have I ever laid foot in, so that'll be really exciting to do for the first time. I uh, have played through the game before. Uh, kind of have an idea how we want to do this one. We've been strengthening it out um, a lot in the other games. I think we're going to go for a more dexterity-based character this time. Uh, this game moves a little bit faster and more fluid than the first two Dark Souls, uh, owing a little bit to Bloodborne, which came in between Dark Souls 2 and 3, uh, which had a much faster pace, uh, much more um, aggressive combat style than the other Dark Souls, which... Bloodborne we're going to get to someday. I got to get the equipment to make it work properly, but someday we're going to do that. But right now, let's go ahead and jump into Dark Souls 3 and put a pin in this series, shall we? All right, here we go. Yes, indeed. It is called Lothric where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. The fire fades, and the Lords go They all attempted Master Roshi's training regimen, but it was too much. When the link of fire is threatened, the bell tolls. Unearthing the old lords of Cinder from their grave. Only in truth, the Lords will abandon their thrones. Who's wearing that crown? Nameless, accursed, undead, unfit even to be Cinder. And so it is. Here we go. Um, for our very first time, I think, since we're going for a more agile, quick opponent, I think I'd like to do a female. 
I think I just like that a little bit better. Um, class, we are going to go with uh, Mercenary. Mercenary uses dual scimitars, um, which is a really awesome sort of... Um, you saw dual wielding a little bit in my Dark Souls 2 run um, towards towards the end there with some great swords, and it was a powerful thing. But this op uh, uh, opens up a lot more combo potential and some really staggering hits. Um, so yes, definitely mercenary is how we're going. Uh, burial gift, divine blessing. All of these things have short-term uses, uh, but the one that I want. Just because it saves me a lot of trouble. There's a portion in the game where there's this giant shooting arrows at you. And yeah, I'm sorry, I'm spoiling a little bit here. But if you have this on you before you get there, he won't shoot you. He'll actually be on your side. Um, and I always have trouble with this part of the game if I don't have that. So we're going to definitely go there. All right, face presets. Let's see who we like here. Woo! Dude, those eyes, that's, that looks like a condition. That doesn't look like a normal face. That looks like a medical condition. Um, that, that also looks like something you might want to see your doctor about. Okay, I love Dark Souls. Gotta be some of the ugliest characters that's ever graced a video game. <laughs> um, build, we'll go with a standard build. Uh, appearance. Gender, age, voice, physique. Can we do face detail? Because I want to look at hair. What kind of options do we have? Oh no, that's not good. A little Joan Jet there. Oh no, don't do that to a woman. Don't do that to a man. All right, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with the basic uh, hairstyle, but I think we're gonna go, we're gonna go red, like full on flaming red. I like that. Except this time, just for giggles, we're gonna keep it red because I think that would look way better. And. Should your should your your eyebrows should match probably? Whoa, that's not gonna happen either. Why? Why would you choose that? No. Again, no man, no woman should have to deal with that. <laughs> they should match. And we're not gonna go into it any more than that. I think that's a little bit uh, overhaul. Okay, and then uh, we will finalize creation. Oh no, I guess we should name it. Um, since we're a female version, normally, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna mess with this a little bit. Normally, it's Dipio, but since we're a female, Dipiona. <laughs> I think that'll work. If you don't like it, uh, leave me a nasty message in the comments. All right, finalize creation. All right, let's see if I can get back into the groove of Dark Souls after Metal Gear Rising. A lot of hacking and slashing in that game, but a totally different beast. Rise from your grave. Little altered beast reference there for you. And I tell you, I love playing these games on the PC. The difference 60 FPS makes in this is just staggering. Um, and you know what? We're not going to use the shield right now. We're going to go full on. 
Let's practice our combos a little bit. Although one hit seems to do the trick. And all this splashing water reminds me of how many swampy areas are in this place, too. Ashen Estus Flask. That's different in this game versus uh, previous games. They actually give you Estus Flasks that restore magic. Um, don't know how much we're going to use. There are actually, even if you don't go into the magical classes, there are... Um, weapon arts, basically like special moves for your weapons that burn magic, so it's still worth it to have some, some magic points. I remember all my stuff, that's my roll. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's the weapon art. See, it burns a little, a little magic. Probably has a good, a good punch to it. All right, here's the first men from boys moment. Women from children. Nope. Nope. I don't trust you. See? Oh, tail's gonna whip. Oh, maybe not. Ooh, that's not good. Let's stay out of the way. There we go. Oh, that's a good combo, but it almost got me eight up there. Drink. No, get out of the way. Oh, that's close. Drink. Last time I can drink. Whoa! That was closer than I would like to admit. Stay alive. I would sure love to not have to do this more than once. Yeah, baby. Whew, Crystal Lizard down. No healing left, but we got her. Or him. I don't know how to sex a Crystal Lizard. <laughs> we'll say him. Get a little girl power in there. Shoots him down that giant boy. So that's your first welcome to Dark Souls moment. Kind of fun. I like that crystal lizard. Um, kind of like what happens to all the ones that get away. They grow into that. Alright. Uh, let's rest. Get our Estus, fl Estus flask back. Plus a little... Be careful here. Uh, we want to land on this thing. 
Uh, oh, how do I jump before I do it? Okay. Left stick. Left stick click is jump. And that is jumping badly. So we're going to come back for that. And now we have to kill another... No, I don't want you. I want this thing. Yeah. Fire bombs are good. I love the, like, vista boxes. When you get on these edge, they're just blurry enough to make it seem like they're a little farther away than they actually are. Oh, you're still alive? I don't know where you came from, but we'll, we'll, we'll meet you down at the bottom. We gotta, we gotta sort this mess out. Oh, so close. So close. You see that guy kneeling down there? He's who we're getting ready to run into. He's he's your real welcome to Dark Souls moment. But uh, we don't want to worry with that until I can get this to work for crying out loud. Oh, there we go. Oh, I rolled off of it. <laughs> so we handled the we handled the crystal lizard. And um, we're gonna be beaten by a small jump. What the? <laughs> it's going to cost me an Estus Flask just to recover from all of this. Alright, come on. For all your agility. You are not hitting the mark here. I'm feeling a little, I'm feeling a little silly at this moment. But it'd be dumb not to get that item. Not to just walk away from it. Oh, come on! <laughs> okay, okay. I see how you're gonna be. We're gonna start off like this, huh? There we go. Titan eye chart, see? That's worth it. I'm gonna want those. However, I am not gonna waste an Estus Flask when I'm about to fight a boss. Not when the enemies are this easy to kill. We're just gonna go rest. Now watch me like, screw the pooch on fighting one of these guys. Don't want you sneaking up. Alright. I saw a shiny on the ground here. A fading soul. Ooh! That didn't kill you. That seemed pretty, pretty violent, but uh... You withstood it, so good for you. And you did it in nothing but robes. Alright. Oh my goodness, I'm not ready for this part. I did okay on the lizard, but this is a horse of a different color. Swung around. Let's try to keep it on our toes here. Oh, let's try to stay alive.
Oh, that spin is something else. Okay. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Wake up. Oh, that's, see, that's how bad that is? That's how bad that is. I don't want to die, I don't want to die. Oh, but we're going to die, are we? We're dead, right? No, we're, oh, we're dead. Okay. <laughs> okay, he went like way up in the air, so you can't hit that tendril. All right, Zerg, did that other guy follow me? Because, nope, we're fine. We're not playing clean up on everybody. See, now I don't get all those free hits. That I had last time. See, now he's like ready to rock and roll. I don't want to lose 4,000 souls. Whoa! Holy crap, dude! <laughs> oh, let's back off. Oh, that's not good. Not too bad. Now here's a little detail I love about Dark Souls 3. When you're when you're alive, you never start looking like a zombie from dying. But when you're fully at full power, you get this ember glow around you, like crackling off your clothes and stuff. It's really awesome. So if it's not obvious, my goal is to try to play less with the shield. Um, that's not always going to be viable, but my power comes from this two-handed, like, sword swing. The more I can get in there and decimate them with combos, the better. A lot of things will stagger in this game. I haven't hit any yet for, I mean, I did that one, but he was facing the wrong way uh, the first time I fought Gunder. Um, but like even that Crystal Lizard can stagger from a number of combos and you can do a, a really cool, like face rip kind of an animation. Nope, nope, don't want that. Anything hiding here? Nope. Nothing from you guys. There's a guy up here I'm gonna fight, but I'm gonna get my my bonfire first. Because it's possible he's gonna tear me into tiny little shreds. He's uh, kind of an equivalent of an NPC invader. And he's wearing nothing. He's like basically naked. But somehow, still tough as nails. Um, here is our own Firelink Shrine. Welcome to the bonfire, Unkindled One. I'm a firekeeper. 
I tend to the flame, and tend to thee. The lords have left their thrones, and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. Were you the lady from the beginning? I think you are. I think you're the one. That wasn't a crown, it was like a face mask. I see. I see. Ashen one, to be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. I will show thee how. Ashen one, bring me souls plucked from their vessels. Ashen one, to be unkindled. All right, I got you. I got you. Embed the sword. This is what we stole from Gundir. To create the mother of all bonfires. Alright. Um, you know what? Ashen one, we might as well level up. The Ash will guide thee to the land of the Lords. To Lothric, where the homes of the Lords converge. One yeah, yeah, you said that already. Well, let's explore. We'll go out and fight the other guy in a minute. I wanna, I wanna see something here. To make thine acquaintance, Ashen One. I am but a humble handmaid of the shrine. Weapons, armor, trinkets, and spells. I've lots of little things to ease the burden of a weary traveler. And yes. I'm undead too, but not so charitable as to give my goods away. Ashen One, fetch souls and bring them to me. As is I want, no? <laughs> and if you see, she's one of the handmaidens from Dark Souls 2, one of the old ladies we met at the beginning. Ashen One. If my wares are not to thy satisfaction, bring me umbral ash. With ash, I'll fashion new wares. Is it not our sorry fate to sup on death? <laughs> to see death and be all like, sup. All right, uh, sell items. We are going to, this is a really cool thing. You can sell the souls to her and get the same as if you were just going to use them. So you don't have to like go through popping them all. All right, I think we're good. We're good for now. Actually, no, we didn't look at your purchase items. What am I saying? Um, White stone soaps, soaps. I shouldn't need this because the goal is not to, uh, not, oh. 20,000 for the tower key, huh? That's expensive. I didn't re- oh. You can buy that now? I thought you had to find that before. Oh, okay. Okay. You'll you'll see that in a second here, but that's that's good news. Um, I think we're okay. Ashen one. And who remembers Andre? Well, a newcomer, I see. I am Andre. I serve at this shrine as a humble smith forging weapons. You're in search of the Lords of Sindhu, I trust. A toilsome journey, I'd wager. You'll require good arms. Let me smith your weapons. Well, my arms are better than smith. yours. Such is my purpose. Your shoulder's like way out of socket, Andre. And that's not even the one you swing the hammer with. Okay. Reinforced weapon. I told you we'll be using this for a while, but we need at least one more Titanite shard, so okay. nothing to do there. Also, ah, um... What is good, wasn't he? We can allot Estus from him. So, like, I could go no health, all magic. But we're gonna go all health right now. We don't really have magic. And this is not exactly what I call an amazing skill. So I'm not really worried about using it a whole heck of a lot. 
Okay. First of all, let's go back upstairs and back outside. Uh, I went the wrong way. It's a lot of stairs here. It's easy to get confused. Sometimes these gates fog up for no reason when we're in there, but this time it didn't seem to do that. So, oh! You know what? Again. Not paying attention. We should uh, level up before we go. We're going to fight this guy, so we might as well have a little bit of... A little bit of help on our side. Then take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Okay, so... Dexterity is going to be our main priority here. And it looks like we can get about eight points. So we want dexterity. Um, vitality is... There we go. Vitality is defense and equipment load. So equipment load will be our thing there. Endurance, uh, we obviously know it's our stamina. Uh, tune that we don't care about, vigorous HP. So right now we want to work more with dexterity and stamina. Let's do four in each. I think that's a good way to start. Alright, can we go back up this way now? Yeah, this is the right way. Wake up, sleepy heads! Got an ember for me. And I think one of you guys... Yeah, around here. Here we go. Homeward Bone! We know how valuable those can be. So I have to say that, you know, I have, having played all of them, um, Dark Souls 3 is by far my favorite of the Souls games. I know it's not everybody's favorite. It's kind of an unpopular opinion. Most people heartily defend one as the best one and one is awesome do not get me wrong but there's something really like special about the whoops whoops that's not what i meant to do in the slightest okay uh i i hit the wrong thing and you know why i hit the wrong thing because i'm still playing metal gear in my head despite having already beat a boss in this game Nope. Nope. Like I said, look at this guy. This is naked skinny guy. And he can handle some some sword blows like nobody's business. Looks like he hasn't eaten in a year. <laughs> but that's why I spent all my souls first. Um, oh, you want to talk before we go out? Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. And they'd have us seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. Speak for yourself. Don't you think? What a sick joke. Asking us to seek the Lords of Cinder and the talking truth. No, nope, no, nope. you're just mopey. I don't want to talk to you. I've got a vendetta to carry out out here. I forgot that from last time. Oh! You got the high ground, Obi-Wan. Oh, let's get out of that. Holy crap. We're, we're starting off poorly.
right. All right, high ground, high ground here too. Oh, and almost out of stuff, so. Can I, oh, oh! Could possibly stay alive, just depends. Just depends. Oh, I hit the the graves. There we go. Woo! Uchigatana, Master's Attire, Master's Gloves. And there was a time when the Uchigatana would be what I wanted, but this this sword set is like I love it. I don't want to trade it. <laughs> I do, however, want to go heal up. We pulled that off, but that wasn't pretty. Whoa, what if I died there? That'd be hilarious. All right, now I want to try something else. Um, it's a bit of a shortcut. Plus, we'll go talk about um, something else while we're here. All right, so. Examine, I saw examine. A seed of a giant tree is yet to fall. So you see the giants all tangled up in trees like we did on um, Dark Souls 2. We went back and visited their memories. So they fell here. So this is like the place where those two lands converge. Dark Souls 1 and 2, even though they really weren't connected very much, kind of tenuously, multiverse kind of style. This is the same, it's continuing that. So what I want to do here is there's a little bit of a trick and I will I will make it editing magic so that you do not see all the failed attempts at this because there will be many. But we're going to run up this tree and jump and get on this roof. It's going to open up a path for us. So take one. <laughs> There we go. Oh, that wasn't too bad. That montage is shorter than I thought it would be. Otherwise, you have to wait until you get into the tower and come around. You know, it's a bit of a, a wait. And we're not heading into that tower, but we're, we're going to make our way over here. I don't believe there's anything over here, but we'll double check. Because I don't remember. No. We could have sneaked up on... Katana boy, but that's not really a priority. Alright. So, we're looking at two different things here. One, this is our Snuggly the Crow. You. You. Me. Me. Pumperum. So, Pumperum and Pickle, pickle Pea. Even worse than shiny silky. Just so you know. Um, and I think we just need to drop items. Let's go ahead and drop a couple things. Um, let's drop a homeward bone. Pickle pee. Let's pick up item. Iron bracelets. Okay. Uh, what's next? See, they fixed that too, um, from Dark Souls 1. Um, let's drop a firebomb and see what we get. Pumperum, pumperum. Pumperum, pumperum. Pumperum, Oh, large Titanite Shard. Okay. We don't have a ton of stuff, but, uh... Um, yeah, let's leave an ember and see what it, what it does for us. We'll, we'll have a chance to get more later. You, you. 
No. That no pickle That no bumperum. They clearly had to know that pickle pea and pumperum was gonna sound really awkward, right? All right, so that was the one thing, and this is the other thing that we're looking for. Here we have... Treasure chest! Which lets us start netting some extra souls right off the bat. All right, and with that, we are pretty much where we want to be. Right? Wait, are we? Oh yeah, we fall down here. Um, should be fine. Holy Lothric, last hope of his line. And I will introduce you guys to this little man here. He's probably sleeping, I think. All that unkindled, and a seeker of lords. I am Ludlith of Corland. Look not in bewilderment, as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Cinder. If substantiation be thy want, set thine eyes upon my child cause. This sad cadaver, no need to be caught. Is there an apostrophe in cadaver? Have a closer look. Knowest thou of our purpose? Five thrones will take five lords as kindling for the linking of the fire. The fast fading flame must be licked to preserve this world. A reenactment of the first linking of the fire. So it is, I became a lord of Cinder. I may be but small, but I will die a colossus. Well, you're not that small, you just have no legs. No style of our but fine. Yep, 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 I yep. Mean. Now, now. Do not be away. Okay, so, all that said, um, let us go ahead. Ashen One, produce the coiled sword at the bonfire. Just getting my calf raises in. The Mark of Ash will guide thee to the land of the Lords, yep. to Lothric, where the homes of the Lords converge. Yep, getting my getting my calf raises in. I want to be go. nimble on my toes. All right, we can do we could do one point. Let's just go ahead and ignore that for now. We'll save up the souls. So this is a little bit like uh, Demon Souls, which I, of course I haven't played. I don't even have that one, but uh, have I? I mean, I have played it. I haven't put, played it on the channel. Um, but there is this is like a hub world, and we can travel the connected worlds. Uh, once we're out there, they kind of link together. But to get to even the first one, we have to teleport from there. Um, but the first thing we need to do is. Oh, oh, the first thing we need to do before I forget. It would be a crime if I forgot this. We found an Estus shard up front. Ah, tis good, wasn't he? So we want to um, reinforce Estus flasks. And then we'll allot the full five. Boom. Now we have Pretty one more Estus care. use. Not at the moment, mind you, but... When we rest, it should be that way. There we go. All right, and now we're gonna travel to the high wall of Lothric. All right, well, here we are in the dungeon. I think it's a dungeon. What is breathing? That's unnerving. Okay, um, well, we are in the high wall of Lothric, and this is a whole other area to explore, but I think you have seen enough for today.
I am the Arbiter of Dark Souls 3, and I have deemed this enough for you for now. So, my will is law. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hope you join me for the next round. Uh, this, is, this is only the beginning. The brutality starts now. Alright, guys. Take care, and I will talk to you later.